Hello everyone. Welcome back to MailSoft real time project. In this video, we are going to talk about project architecture phase two. Phase one, we have successfully completed from phase one. What we have learned, you will see first. So before that, if you are watching this video for very first time, what you can do is, okay, you can go to our YouTube channel, VA Tech Talks and go to playlist you can watch the videos from beginning there are 27 videos as of now 1 to 27 you can watch as well as you need to practice the same okay you need to practice okay as a mules of developer how we are going to get the requirements okay how we are going to get the requirements how to create user stories, how to create subtask, how to design, how we can do development, okay? How we can do development, how we can integrate with Snowflake, how to integrate with email. There are a lot of things which we have discussed, okay? You can go through that playlist. Now, as part of page two development, there is a new requirement. Okay. We need to send an SMS. We need to send an SMS to an user whenever you are going to send an email. Okay. Now, there is one more integration we have to do Azure. Okay. So, whenever the user is going to, I mean, the API is going to store your details into Snowflake tables. The same time, okay, you have to store it into Azure storage. It's like blob, okay, Azure blob. You can call it as Azure blob or container, okay. These two are new requirements. So even in our real time, so you will Okay, once you complete phase one, okay, once you complete phase one, suppose within three months or six months, if you complete phase one, keep on the requirements are going to add in your ADO board. So if you go to ADO, if you go to ADO, if you click on this backlog, see there are three user stories. Okay, so in back end, what your product owner and BA and sometimes your architect, okay? Your architect, they will sit together, okay? They will sit together and they will create backlog items. Backlog items. Now you know what is Agile, okay? What is the process of Agile? What is backlogs? What is sprint? How many days it is a sprint? And what is daily scrum meetings, sprint demo, those kind of things, okay? Now, phase one is successfully completed. Phase one is successfully completed. As part of phase two, we need to integrate with SMS and SMS integration and Azure integration. We need to do that. But here, as part of phase two, there is no live sessions. There is no live sessions. You have to work on these requirements. You have to complete. You have to complete. Okay. You have to complete. SMS. SMS and Azure. I'll guide you. Okay. How to do this. I'll guide you. But you have to take initiative and you have to complete the task. Okay. So wherever you are sending an email, you have to generate an SMS. Whenever you are going to insert or update the same data, it has to store into Azure. Okay. There is a phase three. There is a phase three. Phase three development also it is there. From there, what we need to do? We need to phase three. From here, we are going to push our data into 
MQs, message queues. Okay. Message queues. We'll go one by one. Okay. So far we have completed phase one. Now we can work on phase two. So what you need to do? So in order to complete this phase two development, you need to create, you need to create Twilio account setup. Okay, Twilio account setup, and you need Azure account. So how to create Twilio account? Just go to Google, create Twilio account. Okay. Here, you can see this red symbol, right? Okay, just click on this one, create Twilio account. This is the website, okay? So here, you need to sign up. So it will ask for the username and password and email and your mobile number to verify, okay? Your mobile number to verify. Now, you need to do Twilio integration. In order to do that, you have to create one account for that. Next. In order to complete Azure integration, you can go to portal.azure.com. So anyway, you have already created Microsoft account, right? Okay, you have already created Microsoft account. So here you can see, there's a start with Azure free trial. Okay, there's a free trial account for 12 months. Okay, if you want to play with the data or if you want to do more integrations with the Azure, you can do that. You can go to start free here. Okay. You have to fill your details. Okay. You have to fill your details. Here, there is one thing. Okay. It will ask you for the credit card details for verification purpose, but no need to pay anything. So if you observe here, see create Azure free account popular services for 12 months, more than 55 services always free. Okay, always free. So you can create the account. So once you create an account, we do have connectors here. I'll show you. Let's stop this. If you go to search in exchange, See here, if you type Azure, okay, just type Azure. You'll get a lot of things here. See, Azure Cosmos DB is there. Okay. So there are many things, but you need to take Microsoft Azure Storage Connector. Okay, you need to take Microsoft Azure Storage Connector here, okay. Just add this one automatically into your project. Now, in order to send an SMS, Twilio, okay? See, by using MuleSoft, we can connect with any platform, any network, and any services, okay? So that is one thing. So let's get down to So these two integrations are your assignments, okay? You have to complete your assignment. If you have any doubts, you can reach me via my email ID, my Telegram channel also it will be available, our Insta also it will be available. If you want to go through, if you want to go to Telegram, what you can do, you can go to our YouTube channel and if you click, links right so here you can able to see va tech talks telegram okay you can join over there okay that is one thing and the class notes the previous class notes and everything it will be available if you open any one of the video okay if you open any one of the video from the description right okay from the description 
in the description you can able to so here you can see class notes for github link so here i have pasted your project architecture and user stories and everything if you open this one you will be able to see what is the project architecture so here what is the source what is the source system so this is very important for even interview questions also so what is the source so how you are getting the data so that is called source as of now what is the destination destination snowflake now what is the source here front end okay the data you are going to develop an apis right through apis we are getting the data and we are doing db operations like we are creating an account deposit the amount withdraw an amount check balance so this and all schedulers it's like batch process now here what is the destination so far snowflake again azure also one of the destination or target okay so what is your source system and what is your target systems okay so these and all messaging okay notifications so how you are going to send the notifications by using email and sms we are going to send the notification so this is phase 2 so we do have phase 3 also but if you work then only you will get to know okay by practicing practice makes man perfect right okay so like that you have to practice so by practicing only you will be able to get to know everything now here if you see so once you create an azure account here you can see there are many things sql database azure cosmos is there okay storage accounts so here we are going to here you are going to store your data okay either you can search blob see here storage accounts so here we are going to store your data so for that you need to create two accounts one is twilio account setup next one is azure azure free trial account you have to create and you can add the dependencies see here see there are many things see there are many things it will be available you can do lot of things see if you want to learn really if you want to learn really you can do many things by creating free accounts and you can do many integrations okay this is about azure storage okay azure storage see create container you can create the container and push the data into container okay next how to take twilio we'll see see we do have twilio connector also just you can type twilio and you can add the dependency now you know once you add the dependency how to use it and where to use it if you don't find anything so what you can do you can try to google it okay you can try to google it that's very important thing okay so now everything is in a place okay it's a time to practice okay so to getting the hands on experience is very very important okay to getting hands on experience is very very important see here now create account create call create message so in order to send a message what you can do you can create message delete okay there are a lot of things see here see in this connector there are many things so you know what to use okay 
based on your requirement. So here we are sending an email, right? Okay, after sending an email, what we need to do? We need to send an SMS also. Or else you can send an SMS parallelly. Okay, that is up to you how we are going to design. So again, I'm going to tell you like you need to practice. If you are raising any issues, please do reach out to me by using these channels. Next, last but not least, please do comment in this session or in this video. So once you complete this one to 27 videos, okay, and phase two development, okay, phase two development. Once you complete this phase two development, I'm not asking my feedback, okay, I'm asking how much you learned, okay? How much you learned from my videos or my sessions, okay? So that is very important. Either 30%, 40%, or 60%, or 100%, whatever it is. So this, this is the work you have to do it, okay? Just you need to drop a comment in this video how much you learned how much you learned from me, okay? So that is very important. Yeah, that's it for this video. That's it for this video. Happy learning. If you have any doubts, feel free to drop an email or connect with me by using these channels, okay? That's it for this video. Thank you. Thank you one and all.